Hello guys, welcome to DIY Repair Now. Today we're going to be performing a dryer vent cleaning. We're working on an Amana dryer, but this repair is about doing a dry vent cleaning. So if your dryer is taking twice, three times for it to drive, you probably have a dryer vent clock. So go ahead and disconnect your dryer to work safe. And then go ahead and disconnect your dryer vent from the dryer. Now we're gonna go ahead and use this kit. We're gonna go ahead and put a link in the description of this video for you to buy this tool to be able to do the dryer vent yourself. Now we're gonna go ahead and put this piece and the first brush inside, or you can put it straight on the pipe that's coming from the roof. That's your choice. Now we're gonna go ahead and put the vacuum in that piece there. Again, I'm gonna go ahead and put a link in the description of this video, that way you can buy the whole kit to be able to do this uh, dryer and cleaning yourself. Now, sometimes and this piece is gonna be a little loose. That's why sometimes I like to put it straight on the pipe what I showed you earlier. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and use some electrical tape to keep it in place, or you can use duct tape or silver tape, whichever tape you have uh, by you. Once you do that, we're gonna go ahead and start beginning putting the brush inside the vent all the way to the roof. See, we call it like a, a snake, but it's a brush that goes through the vent all the way to the roof. The way I'm doing this is good because you clean also the hose that goes to the uh, dryer vent that goes to the dryer as well. But sometimes it's a little complicated because that's a flexible line it's not like the um, tube that goes all the way to the roof but once you get it in the uh, hard pipe then it's easier go ahead and put piece by piece this line as you see on the video and then go ahead and drill it with the tool the way i do it is that when i go ahead and go clockwise with the drill it goes all the way up so when I go with the drill clockwise, but when I go ahead and release it, I don't use the drill power to release it. I just go counterclockwise with my hand. That way, if I go counterclockwise with the power of the drill, it doesn't get loose between the line, between the two. As you see, when I go in, I press the drill, but once I release it to put the other one I just do it with my hand. See, I started with my hand, then I put the drill, do it clockwise, and push it in. And then if I want to release it, I just do it with my hand. I don't use the drill to release it. And then just put piece by piece until you reach the roof. If your vent goes on the other side of the wall, it's easier. You need a, a about four feet, five feet of brush. But in this case, we gotta go all the way to the roof, which is a little bit more complicated. Now, later on in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you that sometimes, even if you clean the line, the dryer vent all the way to the roof, that doesn't mean the repair or the job is done or is complete or is done right. And I'm gonna show you in a few minutes what I'm talking about. As you see, I'm putting about 15 feet in the uh, kit that they sell on Amazon. I believe it brings like 25 feet. So if you have a small house, one kid should do the job for you. Now you gotta go up in the roof, but I, I don't suggest you to do that unless you have a harness and you are a professional to be able to go in the roof because you can fell and you know hurt yourself as you see the brush is right there that's when you know that you did a good job when you see the brush be careful with sharp edges around the speed trap and just remove all the accumulated length that is around the peat trap if you see your brush or you can touch it with your fingers, that means you did a good job throughout the pipe. Now, if this P-trap is clogged, 
it doesn't matter if you clean the pipe it's still going to streak the airflow of the dryer and it's still going to take two or three times for it to dry so if you not handy enough to be going up in the roof go ahead and hire a professional to be able to do this repair once you get it out just pull your drill all the way out this is the way i do it probably um, other people do it in a different way but this is the way i do it once you get to this point remove the tape and release this piece at this point we're pretty much done we're going to go ahead and put the dryer back in place and we're going to go ahead and connect our dryer vent back where it should be this tape was there but sometimes it's not necessary to put tape around this piece in some cases it brings a clamp uh, that you can press and release and sometimes it brings another type of clamp that you have to use a screwdriver with a flat head and remove it and adjust it loose and adjust it to be able to tighten it back in place but in this case it was just this way that's it thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe